Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to draw a cat's eye using pastel pencils. I used a graphite transfer paper to transfer my outline sketch onto the pastel mat paper. I find that's usually the easiest way. Pastel mat is a very textured paper which grips onto pastels really well and also allows a lot of layering. As always, I start off by outlining the eye using a black pastel pencil and so I drew in where the waterline is and the inner corner of the eye. I also blocked in the pupil of the cat's eye which is sort of like the shape of an almond. I then used a dark bluey grey colour around the edge of the eye and added some blues into the waterline. There was a weird swirly shaped bit around the edge of the eye so I was just adding that in there. I then started to block in the different tones of blue within the eye. The eye is a lot darker at the top and in the top right section of the eye there are a few highlights so I blocked in those using a white pastel pencil. There are, some, there are also some lighter blues around the bottom and the middle of the eye so I was just putting that in as well. Once all the shades of blue are blocked in, I use a blending stump to gently blend the colours out. You can buy blending stumps online, extremely cheap. I got mine from eBay, pack of four or five for about $2.99, so they're really cheap, which is good because I get through a lot of them. One thing that I really love about pastels is how easily they blend into one another. When using pastels, there is more room for mistakes compared to when using coloured pencils. This is mostly because you can layer light colours over the top of darker colours, which can make the drawings a lot easier and faster as well. After blending the first layer of blues out, I go in with another layer of blue, making the colours richer and more saturated. Within the eye, there are lines going outwards around the pupil, so I'm making sure that they stand out by adding more blue lines into that area. I then blend out that layer of colour again before adding in the final details. With this paper, you can add so many layers of pastel, so I'd highly recommend trying out Clairefontaine pastel matte paper if you want to use pastels. Here I am using the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. These are my favourite because they blend so well and they aren't too scratchy on the paper either. I have the full 60 set of these pastels, which I would recommend buying as they aren't too expensive, but the quality is amazing. In the corner of the eye, there are a lot of pinkish tones, so I added in some pink as a base layer, then I added some grey tones on top before blending it all out with a blending stump. The inner corner of the eye sort of blends into the actual eye, so you don't want an extremely harsh line between the two. So I blended the colours together a little bit using some darker greys. I'm then adding in some dark bits of fur underneath the eye as there are some darker shadows in that area in my reference photo. I will link the reference photo that I used in the description below. I get a lot of my re reference photos from a website called Pixabay which is full of lots of um, fr photos which are free to use for any artist or anything like that. Another good website for reference photos is wildlifereferencephotos.com. You do have to pay a small amount of money to use the photo but it's not much at all. I think the next video I'm going to upload will be all about my favourite coloured pencil and pastel essentials. I will talk about all my favourite paper types, brands of pencils and other supplies that I like to use. It's a lot easier to get in the more finer details using coloured pencils as opposed to pastels, but you could always use coloured pencils on top of the pastels to add the final details. I haven't done that in this eye study, but it's definitely an option that you could try out. I'm then adding in some loose strokes of white where all the lightest areas of the fur are. I'm not being super neat here as at this stage I just want to focus on which direction the fur is going in as it's so important to get that right when it comes to drawing animals realistically. I then add in a few fur strokes in the darker areas of the fur. I'm using some browns and some red toned browns in some of the darker areas. Drawing with pastels I find is so much faster than drawing with coloured pencils. This eye drawing took me about one hour to complete, whereas if I had used coloured pencils it probably would have at least taken me double that amount of time. I'm also adding in a little bit of black to the dark section of the fur underneath the eye, then layering with a bit of brown and white to seamlessly blend the colours in nicely together. I then blend all of the fur out using a blending stump. I'm then using some greys into the white bits of the fur. White fur is never 100% white. It may have some slight brown tones, grey tones, or even hints of colours like blue or purple. I'm using some greys into the white bits of the fur. 
White fur is never 100% white. It may have some slight brown tones, grey tones, or even hints of colours like blue or purple. You just need to study your reference photo closely to determine which colours you think you should use. I zoom right into my reference photo so I can see all the detail. I usually do this on my laptop, but you could even do it on your phone or your tablet. And then just darkening up a few of the areas around the eye and then adding some white strands of hair overlapping as this makes the drawing look more three-dimensional. I just love how well the white layers over the dark colours when using pastels, it really speeds up the drawing process and makes it a lot easier to make adjustments. And here is the finished eye drawing. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if there are any particular things you would like to see a video about and then I can try and do those for you. Please like the video and subscribe so you can see my future videos when I post them. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!